Well, everybody, welcome back to another installment of the Bald Chef of Bergamo. Beautiful August day. I mean, it is spectacular. It's about 85 degrees, zero humidity. Beautiful day. As you can see, the blue flag up there on top of Bergamo, Chita Alta now, and that's because the walls have been declared a heritage site for UNESCO. So, uh, congratulations, Bergamo. And, uh, you know, because it's so beautiful out here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some uh, of my special Mexican salsa without tomatoes and uh, crack open a beer and have some chips on the balcony here. So let me show you how to do that. It's a real quick recipe. Do it at home. If you want to add some tomatoes, go ahead and add some tomatoes. Let's check it out. So just a simple recipe here. I'm going to take a, a red pepper. This is not a spicy pepper. It's like a bell pepper. Like kind of a half of a red onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, and a spicy pepper from Calabria. Of course, you can use a, a jalapeno as well. Can't get jalapenos here in Northern Italy. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We'll chop it up, dice it up, and kind of mix it up in this little Pyrex thing and add a little bit of vinegar and some lemon juice to show you how to do that. And we'll try it out. So I've finally diced the pepper and onion. In fact, I probably have done probably a quarter of the red onion because this, this pepper wasn't that large. I'll just kind of show you the dimensions of what I'm talking about here. You know, just small little fine dice in here because we're gonna we're gonna puree it um, in this Pyrex with the hand mixer. Um, some people like their salsa liquidy, some like it chunky. So you start with with mixing as uh, with about a tablespoon of vinegar, red vinegar, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Start to puree it, get to the consistency you want, and then we'll add a little bit more of the vinegar and lemon juice to taste. Uh, right now I'm going to finish um, smashing this garlic, add the rest of the uh, red pepper and onion, and then obviously I've got my spicy calabrese, pepperoncino calabrese. That'll add to this sauce again. Obviously if you're going to make a Mexican sauce, you probably want some sort of... Uh, of jalapenos can't get them here unfortunately so I'm gonna add this that'll give me enough heat um, let me go ahead and start add this in and then I'll mix it and kind of show you what the consistency looks like really you're just gonna mix for about 10 20 seconds it's really all you need and um, let's take a look at it when it's all mixed up so I've pureed the peppers onions and uh, garlic and I've added about a teaspoon of black pepper, a pinch of salt, and about half a tablespoon of ground cumin. That's the secret to this recipe. And this is probably going to yield about three quarters of a cup. Can't see it very easily. But it's about three quarters. Let's do this. It's about three quarters of a cup of, of salsa. In reality, that, that red pepper was about, about a cup maybe a little bit less than a cup of uh, when it was uh, diced so it reduces reduces nicely um, mix it up and then uh, then check it out I got my my handy dandy tortilla chips here um, you may want to refrigerate it get it to the right temperature depending on how you like it and then obviously if you need a little bit more vinegar or lemon juice go ahead and add that I do recommend adding some fresh cilantro a few leaves of that chopped up here and put in the end. Um, unfortunately, it's not something you find typically here in northern Italy, but we're always on the lookout at, at the supermarket. So, buon appetito. And so I've had it in the fridge for a little bit, just to chill it off a little bit. As you can see, I got this nice little chunky salsa here with the right uh, right heat. Obviously, one would ask, why am I making a salsa with no tomatoes? For one, I'm really am not a, a fan of fresh tomatoes. I think they're a little too acidic, especially for this, um, this recipe. But sure, you can go ahead and add, add tomatoes as you see fit. I just like the, um, the flavor from the red pepper mixed in with uh, the heat from the hot peppers or jalapenos. So enjoy and check in for the next installment of The Bald Chef of